What's going on YouTube? This is Coin Rocking here, back at you with another video. So I wanted to do this one uh, based off of these Ike dollars that I found here. Now you'll notice on these, the majority of the rims are going to be a really nice crisp edge. Um, these were coins that I pulled from an actual half dollar, or sorry, Ike dollar bag. Uh, so the branch will once in a while order Ike dollars for me. I'm not sure how hard or easy that may be to do at most branches, um, but these in particular were in really good shape, in my opinion, uh, based off of Ike dollars that I found in the past. I'll show you what that bag looks like. Um, here, I'll throw it right behind there. Let's see if I can zoom out some. So it's gonna be uh, more or less these uh, coin lock, uh, these coin lock bags, and they come in a thousand dollar bags of Ikes, and they're pretty heavy. Uh, they are pretty hefty bags uh, themselves, so they do weigh uh, quite a bit. They are a little bit difficult to work with, and I do take my bankers a small treat uh, as a token of appreciation for ordering these things for me. Because, like I said, a thousand of these can be pretty heavy. <laughs> and as you can imagine, um, it's not the easiest thing to be lugging around. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in here and let's see if this will focus up a little bit. So like I said, not the most amazing Ike dollar I've ever seen, but it is pretty close. Um, usually in the past, I was keeping things like this and I thought even this was pretty good shape off to the left. Um, but then I started to find these and it wasn't very many. This was a different, this was one of the first Eisenhower dollar bags that I searched um, here. And you'll see there's the obverse. And you can pretty much see in the details um, the difference for yourself. So there's almost no comparison when you look at those details. So this is kind of what I was keeping a few weeks ago. And now that I've found something like this, I feel like there's almost no going back. And in this box, or sorry, this bag, I ended up finding, as you can see there, three with this one in my hand, six, seven, eight. Not sure what this case would be, eight, 16, 24. Um, let's say 30, give or take on here. I ended up finding about 30 of these that were in just really good condition. And I think what threw these off inside of the bag or what made them kind of stick out like a sore thumb is that rim. Um, the majority of these have a really nice clean rim. That eagle looks so beautiful there, how it reflects underneath there. These have like small hues of gold uh, for some reason. Uh, it could have been how they were stored or it could have been anything else. I'm not sure if you guys know why those would look the way they do or if it's just because they're so new but yeah like I said these were amazing finds and they they just kind of stuck out so what I did is I set them aside while I was searching for other items I've yet to find many of the uh s mint marks which are ideally uh the ones you'd want to find inside of Eisenhower bags um, I have gotten lucky and I pull these coins out quite often in some of my videos. Uh, but I found, so far I've found two Morgan dollars and one piece uh, dollar inside of these Eisenhower bags. And as you can see, it more than likely is because the diameter is pretty much the same. So. It's definitely something that uh, can get thrown into one of these bags or if they are, you know, sorted by machine, I can see why. It could very much be a very minuscule difference, 
but it would be enough for most coin machines, I think. And actually, it might be the exact same now that I really uh, get a good grip on it. So yeah, I have found a few of these, but it's been about, I'd say it's, on average, it's about one per bag or one per every other Eisenhower bag because I've probably pulled about five to six of these uh, $1,000 bags. Um, and I've found three of these. To be exact, I've got them right here. And I just showed them momentarily in one of the other videos. So the 1880, I believe the 1881 uh, might have been the first one I found and then the 1880, but I found both of these inside of one bag, which was amazing. Um, that euphoria of finding two of these in a single bag was uh, something that was unmatched to anything else, especially because I've never uh, in my entire life found Morgan dollars anywhere at any point, any time. <laughs> so finding two of them inside of an Ike Eisenhower dollar bag and buying them at a dollar face value uh, was something that was really exciting. And I think at that point, I just decided that there was uh, no going back and I was gonna do whatever I could to order more Eisenhower dollar bags. Um, so that's those two. And here's the other one I've mentioned also in previous videos. Unfortunately, it has some damage there. It looks like someone just inscribed something. Um, although the toning on this is somewhat odd on this front part. Again, I'm not sure if that's just the storage. Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on what that toning could be. But um, slight damage there too. I'm not sure if it's just because these coins are so heavy and it could have fallen out of someone's hands one time. Um, and silver is not the most dense out of all other um, precious metals or metals uh, within itself. So that could have been a cause of that. It doesn't look like it was something that was done purposely. But uh, yeah, this was the other one I found more recently. The odd thing about this one was that it was actually towards the top of the bag and I was able to spot this before I even opened it. So I made a short about that as well. So check that out on my page. But that's enough of the silver here. We're gonna get back to these. These guys here, these Eisenhowers. And like I said, you can see there's some that vary in the condition. Um, but overall, I just decided to keep keep them. Like this one here uh, would probably be somewhat worse of uh, condition than the bunch. But I'm not sure if that luster uh, overall is something that made me want to keep that piece there. Uh, but there's some of these that you just can't. You just can't match this. This is a coin from 1974 uh, that's still in really good shape. So I am not mad at that at all. And these will more than likely uh, stay with me. I don't really have any need to get rid of them anytime soon. Um, like I said, I can buy these at face value. So it doesn't necessarily hurt my pocketbook uh, to keep a few of these because um, some of these I'd even be willing to pay uh, over face value myself. So it's something that for now I will keep as I get more educated on collecting. I will, you know, start to let some of them go if uh, that's the case. But right now, all of these, uh, well, let's see, maybe not this one. <laughs> It could have been the back. I'm trying to figure out every coin there was something unique um, that made me want to keep it. You know, that I said, this is a good coin to keep for now. So every coin within itself had something that I liked. And this one again, you can see uh, some of the lighter circulation, but looks like we have some damage on that or uh, yeah, that probably looks
looks like damage. So that's sad because the obverse, the eagle, is in really great shape on this side here. But what's your guys' experience with these uh, Eisenhower dollars? Do you find uh, very many where the edges are as such? Do you keep Eisenhower dollars? Is it something that um, you have in your collection? We're going to run through a few more of these here. So you can see them. And again, I'm not sure if this happens at the Loomis branch or if these are all, um, you know, part of certain collections that get damaged. But um, these 20 to 30 coins within themselves, I almost feel were from a single collector. And unfortunately, uh, that person may have either forgotten about them or they got sold at face value and then turned into the branch. I always wonder how you can find um, so many coins of the same degree inside of a single uh, bankroll bag. I feel like there's always a story and it is uh, intriguing to consider that story. And uh, be grateful that those pieces are now in your collection. So it's definitely something that um, you should consider doing or asking your branch if you've never hunted an Ike or Eisenhower dollar bag. Um, I do know that not all branches are willing to order these. Um, whether it be because of their regulations, um, whether it be because they are heavy and they're hard to lug around, um, but it's worth a shot. Uh, I would have never known unless I asked and I made that call one day and the branch manager so happened to pick up. So I could have very well gotten lucky, but so can you. Um, there was nothing special about the speech uh, that I asked or that, you know, um, I gave them. I just basically asked if there was any way I can order uh, a bag of Eisenhower dollars. And um, I could have been fortunate that the branch manager herself knew the specific coins I was asking about. Um, so that could be another thing. The branch manager just might not know what an Eisenhower or Ike dollar is. So definitely try to be prepared uh, to explain that or maybe have some pictures. You yourself might be able to pull one of these thousand dollar bags and uh, they are fun through, uh, to hunt through. So. Look at all the treasures I found here, plus the added bonus of being able to find silver once in a while. It's definitely a great all-around coin. Um, let me know what your comments are, what you think, what's your take. If you prefer one of these or the other, the 200-year commemorative, or would you keep any of them or none of them? I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you've been watching all the way to this point, I really appreciate you and you're awesome. So stay tuned for the next one. I am going to clear the majority of my desk here and we're going to get ready to work on a different layout and get going on that silver video. All right, so for now, we're gonna call it a night. I will work on the content of the video that's gonna go into that silver. Uh, collector's video. The reason I really want to work on that is because I want to make it a special video for you guys as mentioned before. So stay tuned. I'm going to end this here and appreciate your guys' watching this video. Take care.